starting two robots on level two of their half platform and one on level one. Both alliances also choosing to start with five null hatch panels on their cargo ship and one preloaded cargo pod. On the Red Alliance, we see Globetrotters able to place a hatch panel of their own to prevent that preloaded cargo from falling out. That was a nice move by the Red Alliance there in that sandstorm period. Now that a teleoperated period has begun, we see robots and alliances begin to work on that initial strategy that they have developed. We see Robo Sharks of the Red Alliance drop off some cargo in their cargo ship, but then cross the cargo ship line over to the Blue Alliance side of the field. They're now hitting the side of Sabotage, our sixth ranked team. Sabotage trying to place hatch panels on the Blue Alliance rocket. We're seeing Robo Sharks try to get in the way to make it difficult for Sabotage to do so. Despite some well-timed hits, Sabotage is able to get those hatch panels on the rocket. We're also seeing Wave Robotics out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin grabbing hatch panels for the Blue Alliance. It's placing those hatch panels on the cargo ship. They already were able to place six hatch panels on the Blue Alliance rocket. T minus 70 seconds and the Blue Alliance is in the lead by seven points with a rocket that only needs two more cargo to be fully loaded. Hope to provide one of those cargo we've got. 3015 Ranger Robotics. Now we're seeing both Sabotage and Wave Robotics heading towards that Blue Alliance rocket, trying to dodge Robo Sharks. In comes Wave, and they do it. The Blue Alliance with a fully loaded rocket and the ranking point to come along with it. There's 35 seconds for the Red Alliance to try to do the same thing, and that is possible. One Red Alliance rocket with four hatch panels and four cargo pods. Only two more needed of each to get that ranking point. Our endgame period underway. 17 seconds to go, and no robots even close to the hab zone yet. Wave Robotics in blue, the first to make it. They're lining up for a level three climb. It's precarious, but they are up. Over on the Red Alliance, we see Globetrotters on to level two. The Blue Alliance making big use of the end game period, earning 24 points. With a final score of 111 to 74, the Blue Alliance wins the match and earns four ranking points in the process. Two from winning, one from docking, and one from fully loading a rocket.